Right, well, here we have it at last. It's the cylinder head back from the engineers. And it's looking uh, absolutely fantastic, I have to say. Uh, the only sort of fly in the ointment was that it took almost exactly a year uh, to be done when we were quoted three months. I don't mind it taking a year, but not when... You know, when you're quoted three months and it's not as if, you know, they said, oh, I'm sorry, it's taking longer than three months. It was like, well, you know, what do you expect? <laughs> Don't keep ringing up. <laughs> you know, anyway, but look, it's a fantastic job. <clears throat> it's all been obviously cleaned. We've got the new valve, um, valve guides, uh, new valve guides fitted, uh, which is great. Yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, new valve guides, obviously clean, and then it's been skimmed, and the valve seats have been recut. And look at these wonderful inserts uh, on the, uh, <coughs> excuse me, on the exhaust. So uh, I think this is must be phosphor bronze. I'm assuming. So the old head it was it was a mess before. We got some, you know. So uh, what happened before? If we ref I don't know if I've got any photos. I'll see if I have. I'll I'll insert them. But the uh, when we got the head, it had actually been mended before. These uh, uh, the sort of exhaust ports have been mended before. And what someone had done is they got some alloy and they just like welded a whole new alloy sort of thread in just sort of tacked it in and then then those threads themselves had then completely gone so there was all it had gone then it had been repaired badly and then those had gone so this is uh this is just a joy uh it's just uh fabulous fabulous uh and then of course it's all been skimmed and cleaned but not only that and and i do have to look twice on this uh myself to get it right but um I think I'll get it right. That uh, the fin's been replaced. Yeah. So uh, there's a fin being replaced, and it's actually uh, that one. I'm fairly sure, and I'm not joking. I have to look that carefully. Yeah, it is that one. But uh, you know, I had to look about five times. I think was it was it that one that was replaced? So uh, you know, it's just completely. Uh, You'd, you'd never know that that fin had been replaced. I think the only clue we've got is, um, yeah, there's no, uh, there's no hole for the, uh, in the, in the fin. But it's, uh, you know, it's, it, it's an amazing job. Yeah, yeah, it's that fin. Uh, you know, so fantastic work. Uh, and so, you know, the head's all brilliant, it's done, and it's all, all ready. Uh, you know, to be reassembled, we've got the new um, new valves and the springs. They were supplied by the engineers because obviously they use the valves because you have to have the valves to um, to you know, to recut the seats and make sure that everything uh, fits perfectly. But yeah, I'm really pleased with it. Obviously, you know, it's a fantastic job. You know, I just wish the customer service was a little bit more friendly, but. Um, you know, uh, an amazing job. So really looking forward. So what we're going to do now is, um, those are all the old um, valves. And we're going to use all the collets and so on from them. Um, but the, you know, the, the seats for the springs and so on. And we're going to put the new valves in the uh, in the head. Okay, Koki. So we're going to start fitting the inlet uh, valves. <clears throat> so you've got the new lovely new inlet valve obviously they're considerably bigger than the exhaust valves okay so we've got a lovely new uh, inlet valve then we've got this the base for the springs that sits on the cylinder head then we've got uh, an internal spring and an external spring then we've got uh, an oil seal that goes on the valve guide uh, valve uh, I've got oil seal, then the cap that goes on top of the springs, and then the collets that go round the shoulder of the 
valve stem to hold the valve down and we've got obviously a valve spring compressor that's going to allow us to do that a few things while i remember obviously we're going to lubricate everything um uh, i don't and i don't think it matters with these springs which way up they go uh, sometimes springs that have a more of a coil at one end or the other and if they do you'll generally have paint on the end of the spring and the paint goes towards the cylinder head but there's no paint on these and they're an even even coil all the way so it doesn't matter which way up they go also we have an oil seal a valve stem oil seal which uh, we generally only have on the inlet we don't have on the exhaust you can put them on the exhaust but i think they fitted the engineers fitted uh, valves if you look at the end of the valve stem there valve guide rather it's quite thick and then we've got a much thinner uh, valve guide on the inlet that's because they'll take the oil seal but they won't take one on the exhaust because generally you don't need oil, uh, valve stem oil seals on the exhaust simply because um when the inlet valve opens then the engine is sucking air in and it sucks oil down the side of the valve and so they tend to leak because it's sucking a uh, uh, you know, mixture in and it can suck oil in at the same time. On an exhaust, when the exhaust valve opens, the um, pistons are pushing the exhaust out. And so any oil that's on the valve stem is pushed out rather than sucked in. So you don't really need uh, um, seals on the exhaust. And it can actually be counterproductive because if you put a stem on, they, they can actually run dry. And, and wear quite fast or even seize um, but you know sometimes I do you know I have in the past put them on on certain engines I've put them on the exhaust but certainly on this I wouldn't and the engineers have done it so I can't do it anyway so it's just um, seals on the inlets right so we're going to lubricate everything slide the valve in from uh, underneath then put the various parts in and the valve stem oil seal just um, clips sort of slips over the top of the of the uh, valve guide okay <laughs> 